let us understand the visual field test report this is Humphrey's visual field test of a patient as a medical trainee or as a neurology trainee you may come across the field test reports sent from your ophthalmologist this is a 24-2 program the most important thing that you need to look for are fixation losses, false positive errors and false negative errors. The false negative errors here is around 36% which is very high and this makes the field unreliable. Generally patients find it difficult to do the field test for the first time. You always need to repeat the field test if the field is not reliable. Apart from that important things that you need to look for are the refractory error and the age of the patient because it is always matched with the age controls. This is a printout showing uh, numerical data here. This is called as a grayscale. This is total deviation with numerical data and on the grayscale and this is pattern deviation. This is pattern deviation with the grayscale. the global indices that are used are mean deviation pattern standard deviation and the visual field indexed glaucoma hemifield test is one of the tests that is used in assessing the glaucoma this is generally not useful in neurological field tests in this field test you can see the field effect on the temporal side in right eye because you can see the blind spot here and the nasal side on the left side so this is homonymous hemianopia because half of the field is gone this is called as right homonymous hemianopia because the right temporal field of vision is affected because it is symmetrical in two eyes it is homonymous congruous hemianopia this is a neurological field the pathology has to be on the left side in the occipital region because it is congruous when it is more and more symmetrical the pathology is more in the occipital lobe this needs an urgent referral to the stroke clinic this is another field effect you can see a right inferior temporal field effect along with a left inferior nasal field effect Again, this is respecting the vertical midline, so it is neurological field defect. And this is homonymous because it is temporal on one side and nasal on the other side. So this is right inferior homonymous quadrantinopia. The pathology is on the contralateral parietal lobe, that is left parietal lobe. This is also called as pi on the floor field defect that is the person will not be able to see in the inferior field of vision the glaucoma visual field defects have got a very different presentation compared to these it's very important to differentiate between the neurological field defects and the glaucomatous field defects because the management is totally different sometimes these neurological field defects can be representative of tumors or inflammation or infection or any pathology within the brain we will try to understand about the glaucomatous field defects later on hope you like the presentation please do like share and comment on the presentation have a nice day bye